In this video, I want to go through a very short derivation of Bayes' rule, which I've indicated here in sort of yellow. So we've got that the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of B given A times the probability of A on a numerator, all divided through by the probability of B. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off just using our rule for conditional probability, which is that the probability of A given B occurring is equal to, we know the probability of A intersection with B, so the probability of A and B occurring, divided through by the probability of B. We also know that we could sort of write the reverse of this. So what we could do is we could work out the probability of B given A occurring, which isn't necessarily the same as that which is above here. And we know again that this is the same thing as the probability of B intersection with A, so B and A occurring, divided through by the probability of, in this case, A occurring. If we examine the numerator of the second expression here, then we actually reason that it's exactly the same as the numerator of this first expression up here. Because the probability of A and B occurring is the safe, same thing as saying the probability that B occurs and A occurs. So we can just rewrite this second numerator as the probability of A and B occurring divided through by the probability of A. Then what we can do is we can multiply through by the probability of A here, which gives us an expression for the numerator here, which is the probability of A intersection with B. So we find that the probability of A intersection with B is actually the same thing as the probability of B, given that A occurs, times the probability of A. And this is now an expression which we can now plug in to the numerator of our original expression, which then gives us the probability of B given A occurring times the probability of A, all divided through by the probability of B occurring. And lo and behold, we have arrived at Bayes' rule.